Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday morning and I have just sort of had a little whirlwind tour. So my queen is at work and she's cold and she said they're all dragging ass and she should have brought more coffee. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got them one of those uh, boxes to go or whatever, the box of Joe and some assorted munchkins so that they had something to snack on and they could have some hot coffee whilst they're sitting there and then I decided that it actually was pretty chilly out and wearing a pair of shorts probably wasn't necessary right now. It's only 63 degrees. You know, what? it was what, 93 the other day? So I just ran home and threw on a pair of jeans. Now, what I have done today is I have got the ZV-E10 all set up with the 30 five millimeter lens on it. And I'm gonna go around for a little while and just do some I guess street photography and I want to see how this camera handles all the pictures and stuff because I don't I actually don't think I've taken a picture on it I am pretty thrilled with the way the footage turned out in studio when I got both cameras to pretty much match and then they don't have to be exact because they're not the exact same camera and I'm fine with that so I definitely think I got it good to go or at least good enough for government work as I'm fond of saying I realized when I looked at the footage from this Insta360 RS that I did in fact not have it set up correctly. So last night I went through each setting and fixed everything. And sometimes I swear to Zeus either, well, I'm going to go with, I don't know what I'm doing and I probably didn't save it or do it correctly. But I was like, why the hell is the sharpness back up to like super duper high? I know I turned it down to medium. So I actually went in again, and I, I changed everything. It was on vivid color. It was on super high sharpness. Nothing else was set correctly. So I went through, I turned the sharpness down to low. I put it to like a, I think a standard or, or neutral, whatever the hell it is, I don't know, uh, but not vivid. God, vivid just really makes everything look like a, like a neon sign. And I didn't like that. So bottom line is i went through and i fixed everything i got some stuff at auto because it's an action cam i don't really need to control too much i just wanted to uh make sure that i got the shutter speed correct and got all those other settings turned down off of like <laughs> all right i'm rambling at this point let's go out and take some pics All right, kids, here we are. Just got the Pleasure House point. I had this thing set. And again, I said earlier, although I may have cut that out, that it's like one of those days where it's overcast, kind of cloudy, and then sunny, and then not back and forth. And I thought, eh, I don't need to put the ND filter on. But when I got out of the truck and I started walking this way, everything was completely blown out. And I thought, okay, screw it. I'll just put the ND filter on. And just looking at the massive difference on the screen just blows me away. And although I'm here at Pleasure House Point, it's just to do a quick walkthrough. How's it going? Hello. Come on. Oh, we're happy dogs. Hello. Lots of happy dogs getting walked. I would imagine if I still lived here and I had a dog, I'd be back here every day. Of course, my dogs would be leashed and I'd pick up their poop. Not too terribly of an exciting day today. Instead of driving around like an idiot doing absolutely nothing, I made myself stand there and switch out all the knobs in the kitchen. So yeah, 
there was my afternoon. You know, I, I spent a good hour or so uh, switching the knobs in the kitchen. Yay. So that's done. I am now going to go back to the Vibe District. I'm probably going to get some dessert for Sven Gulli night. Well, that's all you get for today. So let me know what you think of the footage, especially compared to yesterday's footage off of this camera and the difference between this morning without the ND filter on to this afternoon when I went to Pleasure House Point and I put the ND filter on and I thought that it looked a lot better. All right, so that's it. That's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.